Hi, and welcome to Storytime. Today we're gonna to read one of my favorites. It's called Chocolatina, and it is by Eric Kraft, illustrated by Denise Broncus. Chocolatina. Tina loved chocolate more than anything in the world. She loved it more than birthdays, more than roller skating, and definitely more than dried fruit. Everyone called her Chocolatina. When Dad asked, how would you like your eggs, Chocolatina? Tina always said, with a bowl of Cocoa Crunchies, please. And when the lunch lady asked, what kind of milk would you like today, Chocolatina? Tina always picked chocolate milk. And when mom said, tonight we have fruit salad for dessert, Tina covered hers with chocolate. Tina's health teacher, Mrs. Ferdman, hated chocolate and everything else that children liked. You should only eat foods that are good for you, she told the class. On special occasions like birthdays or full moons, she gave them all dried prunes. Mrs. Ferdman's favorite saying was, you are what you eat. She would write it on the board and make the children repeat it every day at the end of the class. You are what you eat. You are what you eat. You are what you eat. One day during part of this health class, Tina bit off the ear of a chocolate bunny and then she stood up and said, I wish that were true. That night, a strange thing happened. When Tina woke up, she felt all stiff. She went downstairs and looked in the mirror and immediately she saw why. I've turned to chocolate, she cried. Whatever you say, Chocolatina dear, said her mother from behind the newspaper. Now hurry up and eat your breakfast or you'll miss the bus. When Tina got on the school bus, everyone gasped. Do you mind if we don't sit together today, Chocolatina? Her best friend Patty asked. My mom will ground me if I get chocolate on my new shirt. After a lonely bus ride, Tina was glad to be spelling in her spelling class, her favorite subject. But her first word in the spelling bee was Coco, and she got flustered, and she spelled it wrong. At lunchtime, Jimmy Del Rooney tried to bite off one of Tina's elbows. I just wanted dessert, he told the principal. Recess was horrible. Tina was too stiff to run or jump, so she had to just stand and watch everyone else have fun. And when it was time for her to go back in, her feet had melted to the hot pavement. The other children had to carry her back inside. And worst of all, it was time for health class. Mrs. Ferdman made Tina stand in front of the classroom. Didn't I tell you, class, what have I always said? You are what you eat, the children said. That's right, see me after class, Tina. When everyone else had left, Mrs. Ferdman began to laugh. I hoped this would happen to you. I hoped you wouldn't listen to me. I hope you turned into a chocolate girl. Do you know why? Why, asked Tina, who was shaking so hard, she thought she might crumble into a pile of chocolate chips. Because I love chocolate better than anything, shouted Mrs. Ferdman. 
and she grabbed Tina, opened her mouth wide, and went straight for Tina's right ear. Just then, the principal walked in. Mrs. Ferdman, I was wondering, Mrs. Ferdman, what on earth are you doing? I, I, I thought she was a prune, said Mrs. Ferdman. The principal walked Mrs. Ferdman outside and she was never again seen at school. That night, safe in her bed, Tina cried a little chocolate syrup tear. I wish I could be a normal girl again, she whispered. And when she woke up, that was just what she was. Hooray, she cried. I'll never eat chocolate again. Hurry up and get your breakfast, dear, or you'll miss the bus, called Tina's mother. On the table was a giant bowl of Tina's favorite super chocolatey cereal. I'll never eat chocolate again, said Tina, starting tomorrow. And she ate it all up. The end. Oh, I love this book. I'm so glad that Scholastic is letting us read these to you. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time on Storytime.